Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi. How are you? Hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. So guess what? Y'all gonna hear it again. The Office. We back. Y'all mm -hmm. like hearing that? Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Hope you do. Relax. The balloon is falling. What? Okay, it's not. It doesn't sound cool. You just. I thought something was wrong with Cece or the other baby. I don't know what the other one name. I was is. thinking like something. Oh, fill up. I went along even deeper. I went with the world or something like something in the world is like a like some series. I'm like, woman well, like science, scientifically like a balloon. I'm I not talking about kids. the phone call. I'm not talking about when she got to the balloon part. Oh, I'm like, oh, scientifically something going on in the world like a balloon, like it's major. No, in the warehouse. Like, <laughs> oh my god, the office, the office. But it's been up there a long time. So did a good job, buddy. Now it's time to come home. When that went up there, I had hair like Rapunzel. And our Warcraft clan was still on speaking terms. And I was still just a paper salesman. You just don't want to work. You, you know just this? doing. This is a Michael move. It's adults with too much time on their hands. We get to that point in life where we just got too much time on our hands that and we just so you just do stuff. You just you excited to just do something stupid. It happens. It happens to the best That's of us. That's what happens on boredom strikes. Yes. Allow me to solve your problem then. Ellie. You call that a King James breakfast pie? Some Hungarian just found their way out of a sack. Let's build a shrine. The fact that she could show her face around here is an embarrassment. I, I said I'm Tony. Okay, I made a mistake. It happens, okay? Uh, so let's just you find an empty desk for you. If the seat is open, the job is open. Another beautiful day in Tallahassee. <laughs> Look at this place. Five rooms and I get to clean them all. Listen to me. Bragging away. So far, so good. The water pressure in the hotel is marvelous. Mm, <laughs> now, let's find you something fun to do here, shall we? I've been in this chair for an hour, and no other manager has come and sat in my lap. Hey, Robert. Ah, uh, I really wish I could come into work today, but I'm super sick. With the Florida flu. <laughs> Jumped straight in my car and drove straight down till I hit the ocean. My heart is my map. But still not bad for a heart map, right? Can't you do something about this? Sometimes yes. the flowers arrange themselves, Jim. And what is going on? Aaron, you got a package! <laughs> here I am, sun sealed, delivered, I'm yours! I am here to take you back to Scranton. Where's the ring, Lancelot? Uh, would you guys mind if we talked privately for a second? I'm not coming back with you. Why won't she go? He kind of just put his job. I'm sick of these two. I'm sick of these two. I am so <sighs> it's so back and forth. I want you. I don't want you. You want, they like make up your minds. Gosh, just this like Jim and Pam all over again. Really just is. all this mess, just to end up together. Sick of this. I like it though. I like it. I'm not even lying. I like it. I like it sometimes. Let's just go back. Hey, this is messed up, bro. Who is this weird lady? You, yes. Wait, I am very good at intuiting names. It's not a name. Yeah, definitely sounds like So no right. one can tell me what's going on. I am your new manager. Robert? We live in this world of routine, He just like rhythm, doing stuff. Kevin eats you, you leave me no choice but to get to know you in a more intimate way. Hot tub party? Aaron. Oh my god, my mind. Matter, Hot dog water is just like, you point. know what? No, no, I don't want to think about it. You know what's no. crazy? I can't, I can't boil hot dog. I can't remember the last time I actually boiled a hot dog. I can't I've do it. I've never boiled hot dogs. As a kid, we it was like popular. Like everybody no, boiled we, their hot dogs. No one boiled hot dogs in our house. Don't act like you just was just missed, like Chef Bardi in your I'm house. just saying, we never boiled them. We just put them in a the microwave. That's even worse. <laughs> no, it's not. Ew, no. Like no. now, mine's have to be in the griddle. We either put them in the microwave the or we put them on the stove, you know, let them get, you know, a little charred, whatever it's called. Yeah, mine's have to go on the griddle. Never sure. boiled water. Never boiled water. Never boiled hot dogs in our house. Never. <laughs> never. Never. You guys make it so bad. Hot dog water is disgusting, but do I like It's whoa. the smell. Boiled hot dog. No, who boils hot dogs? People. You. I, don't, I ain't did that in, since 1996. Don't start. So you came to get me. But you still have a girlfriend. I just jumped in a car and I drove down here and I didn't even really want to stop until I saw you. He just keeps letting all the calls go to voicemail. Oh my God, you're Superman over there. You should take it. 
It's probably your girlfriend. I can tell I'm getting stronger. You really wouldn't feel those kinds of results after one session. Just go to preferences, then click. Proctology. Andy? I got the, I got the serious poops, man. He's here in Tallahassee. What do you mean, take my job? Like, set up camp in your office and is calling yourself the manager. Okay. And trust me, you do not want her as your manager. Mm -mm. Trust you. The way Pam trusted you to. But yeah, Angela, you're still working. I was just going to say that. You You're still, as a senator, and, and you still, still at working. the office. I would have been out of the office. He didn't want. To, he didn't even want to see her boob. Thank you. You just added some more to the. Fire. I'm just saying he didn't. He felt. I don't like my flames too high, but if you want to throw some more wood in there, go ahead. I'm just go saying ahead. it might be a little chilly. You might need a little mm -hmm. more flame. Don't come at Pam. When was the last time Dwight and I agreed on anything ever? <clears throat> All right, Phyllis. Oh. Nellie, I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable. Dwight. I refuse to be judged by someone that I do not respect. I lost respect for you. Dwight, you carry this company on your massive shoulders. See, there's no limit to what I think I deserve. Then you accept it? Five percent, no less. So, Phyllis, now you know the rules of the game. Do you care to have a go? I'm fairly certain you're going to like it. The way you conquered your fear and came in here, and now the way you sit there. Are you aware that Nellie is giving out raises? I am not. <laughs> It's not that I don't want a, well, yes, I guess I'd take a raise. That's not what I'm saying. That's not, sorry. Nellie Bertram saw a vacuum and filled it. Jim, would you prefer a nature metaphor or a sexual metaphor? Oh, God, nature. All sex is competition. Mm -hmm. And there are no rules to that. Mm, let's see, review, review, review. Yes, good stuff. Here you go, have a raise. No, you know what? Nellie's right. That is exactly how it should work. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Sorry. Too late. I'm here. This is mine. <laughs> Touch me and I'll sue. <laughs> he took the white spot. <laughs> That's oh a good God. answer. That's a good answer, Creed. <laughs> Do you know what it feels like to be constantly rejected by you? And I think at some point in my head, it just sort of clicked that we're not meant to be. Sick of them. I am sick. You know what? You know what? This is why we took time off from up. This is why I didn't come back. Cause this right here, I thought they was gonna walk away, look at each other, then come back and you know, kiss, and then they back in love. No, we Pam better get a raise. Pam better get a raise. Pam, get out the office. Why'd you even go in there? Get out, Pam. Consistency in the manager's position. No okay. weird silent coups. Did Jim carry around those babies for what is it, 12 months? Okay. You must be exhausted. Fancy a nap? I used it earlier myself. Dreamt I could breathe underwater like Jacques Cousteau. And when you wake up, you will earn more money. You never go on. on. Say it. I'm amazing. Andy is a nice boy. Really? Because you've been kind of a bee to him. What why, does he do why does she remind me of Charlie's mom? From Always Sunny Philadelphia? I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you got far anywhere. I don't know if you went far. Well, anyways, uh -huh. if you are a Sunny fan and you were with me when I watched Always Sunny Philadelphia, she reminded me so much of Charlie's mom. Is that her? I, or maybe it's the voice. I don't know. Maybe it's the voice. You don't really work here. Why are you so staunchly defending your friend, who Jim? Have you ever heard of a character named Tinkerbell? Really, Not Kevin? Who here believes in Tinkerbell? <laughs> All right, guys, stop. I already spent the money. Hi. Come on, Jim, you're killing her. I believe. <laughs> oh, God. I have a whole ton of Aaron's favorite food for the drive back. Eggplant farm. Andy, I love you. Oh. Stop. Oh, this is <laughs> obvious. Once again, dramatic in the office. <laughs> I love these type of scenes because in real life, find your head, you probably think of music playing, everybody like, yeah. And then in real life, that's I've never, what it, I've never seen those. That's what it looks like. I would love to. <laughs> get out the road, get out the way, nobody cares. I would put, I would, I would literally park and I would literally play a song and record them. In reality, it's like that. I don't have any stuff. Like your toothbrush and stuff? I don't have one. You don't have a toothbrush? No. You just use whichever one's sitting there? I always find one. Have you ever heard of buying a toothbrush? Of course. I don't work especially hard. And most of my ideas are either unoriginal 
all total crap. If you ask me, that's the American dream so right there. Don't know if he was, she just coming here just Wow, this was actually a really good episode. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually interested in seeing what happens next. It's messy. I love it, though. It's I'm messy. I'm actually, like, I, I'm focused to the point where I'm like, this is how did you guys say that this was not a good season? It's a lot going on now. Because it started off. But it's still Kinda. a good, it has good episodes. It's good. But I mean, I mean, I understand like from, you know, having Michael and then to not, nah, let's you know, not bring like, his name up. I know it, but this is actually a really good episode. So I'm like kind of interesting. Uh, I'm interested to know like what happens next, Michael. but let us know what you guys thought about it down below in the comment section. Don't forget. I do have a Patreon. So if you guys want to head that way, make sure you are subscribed. Let's get this subscribe. No, let's get this. Subscriber number up. Until next time, guys.